So in this lecture, we are going to discuss the position or placement of the precordial leads or the chest leads or the unipolar chest leads. In the last lecture, we discussed that the ECG is made of 12 leads, 3 leads are bipolar leads, 9 are unipolar leads. Out of the 9 unipolar leads, 6, uh, six leads are unipolar chest leads while uh, three leads are unipolar limb leads or augmented limb leads. So today we are going to discuss the position or the placement areas for the uh, chest leads or the precordial leads or the unipolar chest leads. So basically the chest leads are six in number and they are placed in a specific uh, position. They are unipolar because only one of the electrode is the active electrode and that active electrode is basically placed on the uh, specific area on the chest and that active electrode is basically connected with three limb leads the and the three limb leads they combinedly behaved is a neutral lead and or the indifferent lead and that provide the resistance so that the recording is only made from that specific lead so the chest lead they are basically V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 and V6. The V first chest lead, the V1, it is basically placed on the right side of the sternum in the fourth intercostal space. This is the first rib, here is the first intercostal space, here is the second rib, the second intercostal space, the third rib, the third intercostal space, the fourth rib and the fourth intercostal space. So the first lead, the first chest lead is basically present in the fourth intercostal space on the right side of the sternum. Now basically the lead attached to the uh, first the, the V1 is red in color. Now on the this the second chest lead is basically present in the fourth intercostal space but it is present on the left side of the sternum. This lead is basically attached uh, with a lead that is yellow in color. Now the the V4, the fourth chest lead, it is basically present in the fifth intercostal space. This is the fifth rib and it is present in the fifth intercostal space in the mid clavicular line. Here is the mid clavicular line. If we have a clavicle over here, we have clavicle here, the mid portion of the clavicle is basically the mid clavicular line. So it's the, the fourth, the fourth chest lead is present in the uh, fifth fifth intercostal space on the mid clavicular line. The third chest lead is basically present somewhere between the second and the fourth. The third is attached with the green color lead while the fourth lead is attached with the blue color lead. The fifth chest lead is present in the fifth intercostal space but it is present on the anterior axillary line. It is present on the anterior axillary line. If we have the axilla over here, so we have this anterior axillary line, this is the mid axillary line and here is the posterior axillary line. So the fifth, the fifth lead is orange in color and it is present in the fifth intercostal space and it is present on the anterior axillary line. The final or the sixth chest lead it is basically purple in color and it is also present in the fifth intercostal space and it is present on the mid axillary line. The recording from the chest lead is such that the first two chest leads they come basically above the cavity of the heart. Heart is basically present somewhere like here. So they are mostly present it just above the cavity of the heart. So the recording from these leads are basically showing negative deflections. But as we go along, these rest of the leads, they are present on the myocardium of the heart. So the third is showing isoelectric activity with equal positive and negative deflection. But the fourth, fifth and sixth chest lead, they mostly have the positive deflection. So the precordial leads or the chest leads or the unipolar chest leads, they are unipolar because only one active electrode is recording the reading and is basically connected with an indifferent electrode which is obtained by connecting all the three limb leads, the right arm, the left arm and the left foot. The chest leads are six uh, in number. 
the first chest lead, the V1, is present in the fourth intercostal space on the right side of the sternum. The second, the, the second chest lead is basically present in the fourth intercostal space on the left side of the sternum. The fourth chest lead is present in the fifth intercostal space on the midclavicular line. The third chest lead is present between the second and the fourth. The fifth chest lead is present in the fifth intercostal space on the mid axillary, the anterior axillary line. And the sixth, inter, uh, sixth chest lead is basically present in the fifth intercostal space on the mid axillary line. The reading, the recordings from the first two chest leads is showing the negative deflection. The third lead is showing equal positive and negative deflection because the first two leads are present slightly above the cavity of the heart. So they are looking at the heart from slightly above and the rest, the third, fourth, fifth and sixth chest leads, they are basically showing the positive deflection. So that's all about the unipolar chest leads and the placement areas of the chest leads. Thanks a lot for watching the video.